Oh, Phoebe. Oh, yeah, Phoebe. I want to sniff your smell again. Okay, so the first movie I watched in my Vibers movie marathon was 1995's Outbreak, starring Dustin Hoffman, Rene Russo, and Morgan Freeman. Uh, basic plot synopsis, there is a mysterious virus that is devastating a small uh, California town. And Dustin Hoffman plays this sort of um, virus researcher with the army, and Rene Russo is his uh, divorcing wife who um, works for either the CDC or who. I don't remember wh which one. Anyway, they're trying to take care of this virus in this small California town. While at the same time, you've got this uh, military conspiracy going on where they're trying to prevent those guys from uh, finding the cure and whatnot. So this was a very interesting film to watch. Was it realistic? question I'm going to be asking about all these films. Um, <laughs> for 1995, maybe. I mean, it's been 25 years since this movie came out, so a lot has changed. Maybe it was realistic in 19, 1995. Um, I really can't say, but I thought it was a, a good film altogether. Kind of a summer blockbuster that came out in the springtime. I remember the hype for this movie was just through the roof and they were really out to kind of scare people talking about the Ebola virus even though in the movie it's not the Ebola virus it's some made up one that they base off the Ebola virus I gotta say the makeup in this outstanding I really thought that the people were just dying left and right they had blood coming out of their eyes and they were puffy and they all looked sick so uh, props to the makeup, um, makeup department uh, the movie itself it's kind of fair like I said, you know, they have this storyline where you have an outbreak in this town and they're trying to quarantine it off. And there's questions about okay, how do we do this? Do we take away people's civil liberties? Um, you know, how do we treat this when there's just hundreds of people coming down with it? But all that kind of gets pushed aside for this military conspiracy plot, which... Eh, I mean, it didn't exactly ruin the movie. It kind of gave it some gas, but still, it's like, it felt just so unnecessary. And you end up questioning um, the main military general, who is played by um, Donald Sutherland, what his motivations are. You know, they, spoiler alert, they have the cure for this virus, but they want to use it as a weapon. And that's why you have this conspiracy where he's trying to cover it up saying, hey, don't give them this vaccine. We don't want our enemies to know about it, but it's never specified as to what enemies they are facing. Now, this was 1995, so the Soviet Empire had fallen, but this was before September 11th with things like uh, Al-Qaeda or ISIS or even, say, the Russians interfering with our elections or even how we look at China. So it's sort of like, why does this general want to use this <laughs> virus as a weapon? Why does he have such a hard on for it? What is his motivation that he's going to let this entire town of about a thousand people die on account of it? It's like, he doesn't give some speech like, those, the Russians, if we don't stop them, they're going to take over the United States and we're all going to be eating borscht and potatoes for the rest of our life. And it's like, no, there's none of that. <laughs> and it's not like he's overzealous is willing to do anything to stop this virus. He's just kind of just being an asshole to be an asshole. And that really kind of takes away from the movie at certain points. But all around, I did enjoy watching Outbreak. Now, uh, when it comes to ratings, I normally uh, base what I think of a movie on how much I spent to see it as opposed to how much I thought it was actually worth it. And the price I usually go with is $8.50. That is the average price of a movie ticket. So if I watch, say, Bloodsport, if I, you know, I was out there, <laughs> instead of quarantine, I would go to Bloodspot, pay 
maybe about 850, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but we're going to go with 850. And based on how the movie is, I'd say, oh, it's only worth $4 out of 850, or maybe it's uh, worth 849 out of 850. Anyway, I digress. I'm not going out to any movies theater, and chances are you're not either. So we're going to go with a different price, and that's the price of a rental on YouTube, which is probably how you're going to see this movie. And that's usually about $4.99. So taking, taking away a couple of do a dollar or so for the unnecessary military conspiracy plot, which is just was in every 90s movie, I guess. Uh, but having a somewhat enjoyable movie, I'll, I'll give it $3.99 out of $4.99. And that's it for Outbreak. We're going to move on to the next film, and that is Quarantine.